What's up guys? I'm in Al Quds, the creative district of Dubai and I'm here because I want to share with you guys the story of raw coffee. One of the first, if not the first specialty coffee supplier and store in Dubai. But today they've evolved in every single way and I'm here to show you guys the great coffee but also the amazing food that they now have. Let's go check it out together. Kim, it's great to see you again after Hi, so Simon, long. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Really good. How's your day? We're actually really busy. Lots of projects, lots of things happening. Amazing. Fantastic. Hey, you guys are kind of the OGs of yeah. specialty coffee. Can I yeah. call you that? Yeah, we are internationally recognized as the founders of specialty coffee. So you guys are more than just a retail coffee store. Yeah. I know you guys bring in your own beans, you uh -huh. roast your own beans and uh -huh. you distribute your beans as well, but you yep. also use it yourself. Yes. My idea at the beginning was actually just to supply people at making coffee at home. Really? I didn't even think about doing commercial supply. Okay. How do you find all your beans? Because you have beans from different parts of the world, the right? That's the fun part, yeah. Usually we travel all around Central and South America, African countries. We're getting coffee now from some new origins in Myanmar and Timor. Alright, so this is the green room. This is the green room. Alright, so Come this in. is the green room, huh? A little chilly. Alright. Awesome. So this is really cool. Like coffee from all over the world. You guys yeah. get to travel everywhere yeah. in the world. Exactly. You do a great job. Going in there, what, what's that machine? What is what, what happens there? It's it's literally a vacuum loader. So we'll suck the coffee and put it all the way up into the roasting machine. Fantastic. And that is the weight right there. Weight, okay. we've got a load cell on there that's weighing every, making sure it's exactly the same. Because what we want to do is replicate the same recipe. So the customer is, is receiving the same quality. So this is AI technology? Nearly. I mean, everything from 15 years ago, we still with a pen and paper. Now everything's on a computer. Oh, 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 fantastic. So this is really like our showroom, to be able to show what the coffees can taste like. And it helps us to execute on the knowledge that we have and how we want the coffees to be made. When was the time when you felt, you know what, this is doing well, it's time to grow a little bit? It's really only a couple of years ago. We were selected as Endeavour Entrepreneurs about five years ago. And we had already realized then that we had the knowledge, now we had to concentrate on being a viable business. And I also know that you guys have added a lot of food. You have a full-time chef, and I'm assuming yes. multiple people in the kitchen? We, have, we only did that, actually, when we had the luxury to pause and look at what we were doing and what we could improve. So we had five chefs come in, and we recently employed a very senior chef who's taking it to the next level and elevating the food to match the coffee. All right, Chef, it's great to be in the kitchen. Thanks Thank for having me. Yeah, welcome. It's Thank you. To have you here. Thank you so much. So tell me about this new menu that you have. Yeah. The top things that you think we should try. So one of them will be uh, tofu goji, sourdough bread, and uh, just simply toasted. And then tofu, all the spices, tomatoes, chilies, coriander. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's go for the, for the burji. Mmm, that taste takes me to the streets of Bar Dubai, little yeah. India. For somebody who hasn't been to India, yeah, super job on this. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Fantastic, that Great. is very nice. I would like you to try our uh, um, Eggs Benedict because everyone who comes here has our Eggs Benedict. Here we have the English muffins, our local smoked salmon. We have our poached eggs. I'm just gonna season it a little bit with salt, tiny bit of black pepper. Now, this is the interesting part. Our hollandaise, we actually keep it in the siphon gun. This happens to be the thing that I eat here all the time as well, by the way. Exactly. It's this and, <laughs> and this right here. I got this Yemeni coffee. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. This is going to be messy. Oh, man. Can we have some more tissue? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Great. that is so creamy and beautiful. Uh, then from lunch, I would like you to try the asparagus salad, which is very fresh with spinach and the dressing and with the cured egg yolks that we do ourselves mm. here. All right, here we go. Mmm, 
feels very creamy. Yeah. The texture of obviously the salmon gives it that creaminess. Yes. But I can, oh, that egg. Yeah, <laughs> it just polishes off everything. Got a little bit of that sweetness. You said you put sugar on that, yeah. right? Yeah, so it even amounts sugar and salt. Oh, that is fantastic. I could eat this Great. all night. Yeah. When was the moment when you said, I gotta open a specialty coffee place in Dubai? So I um, ran the cafe at the Jebel Ali Sailing Club. When they started to build the Dubai Marina, the Jebel Ali Sailing Club was closed and relocated. So I suddenly had time to do something. And because I'd run the cafe, I felt brave enough to try it. And it's a really good place to actually start a business here. Oh, how so? Well, I think as a woman, it's safe. They're happy to share advice. You can ask for help. There we go. Right. So this is the tagliatelle. Tagliatelle pasta. Some cream sauce. Cream sauce, lime, courgette, chili and shrimps. Simple, but delicious. There we go. How is that? So far, this is what my brain and my stomach, like if, if they were wavelengths, yeah. it would be like up here, but just like flat, nice. Yeah. Like nothing gave me this big spike, which is, which is great, which means I could just keep eating for the next two, yeah. three hours all this food. I love it. It's comforting Fantastic. in a way. Super nice. Great. And then, very interesting, is our plant-based burger. Mm. But we took a little bit of local inspiration, so we made the patty from falafel. Ah. And we had our own homemade hummus. We had a lot of uh, uh, cucumber, lettuce, tomatoes. Oh, so this is very interesting dish where you go a couple of different cultures mixed in, in, in one dish. And I think that's 100% Dubai, because you have everything from all around the world. That is wonderful. And I... I'm so looking forward to these pickled onions. Yeah. That's a thing that just takes yeah. you to the sky. All right, let's go. Mmm. That pickle kicks in right at the end. Oh, that is, that is a great falafel, by the way. Um, it is fried well. Fantastic. And the bread is great as well. So this is a brioche bread, right? Yeah, that's a brioche bread. Nothing right. like a good brioche bread. Oh, this is fantastic. I ate Please one bite do. of everything, but I'm, I'm doing two bites of this one. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Let's so go to dessert. So what do we have on dessert, chef? So. This is a very simple tart with pistachios and fresh raspberries. Oh, fantastic. So, so very Middle Eastern. It's so nicely done. I don't even want to break it, but. Mm. It is light. It's not very sweet, mm. but, and the raspberry gives a little uh, freshness. Nice. Still custardy. So that's yeah. still very good. Yeah. But definitely I love that powder of pistachio. Yeah. Awesome name for like a movie or a band. Powder, powder of pistachio. pistachio. <laughs> that is it. And here, a little cheesecake. Actually, this is baked cheesecake. I know it doesn't seem like it, uh, the cream cheese base. We bake it uh, separately. We cool it down, we blend it, and then we pour it over the, the base. So what happens is you get this very rich, creamy texture without having too much sugar or too much eggs or too much cheese inside. Thank you for that, chef. I loved it. Thank you. I love hearing about food like that. Fantastic, here we go. Oh, I like the thin layer of, of that cheese in the, in the yeah. middle. Fantastic. Even the, the blueberries over here. Yeah. I was thinking it would be more acidic, but it's not, mm. which is good. It's yeah. very much jam-like. Yeah. Which is yeah. what you said, right? Exactly, yeah. I love it. It just complements all together. What an awesome end. Thank you so much. This Thank was an amazing you. experience. Yeah. Thanks, I'm Kim. glad you enjoyed it. Matt, this was fantastic. <laughs> Guys, this was like brilliant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had an amazing meal right here at Raw Coffee. And make sure you make your way over here to Al Kuz in Dubai for Raw Coffee, this haven of food. Peace out. Amazing. Mm -hmm.